Happy 2019! This is Tim Perfect from Two Canoes, and I did a bunch of work on uh, creating the Arduino Automaton um, in a uh, Mac Deploy Stick. So I want to show it to you. So what I have here is my Arduino Micro, and I plugged into a USB cable, and I've got it to a doggle that goes into my MacBook Pro. So I'm going to show you how you would program this um, to use it to boot up and automatically do keystrokes for setting up uh, Mac for mass deployment. So we got two buttons on the bottom of the app right now called uh, uh, Create Arduino Automaton and Configure Arduino Automaton. So we'll start out by flashing it. Um, so I'll click on Create Arduino Automaton and it says to hold down the programming button on the Arduino Micro, which is this little programming button here. So I hold it down while plugging it in and then you just wait until you see the blue light turns on and then you release it. And once you do that, it'll detect it, and it says device found, and now it says to press it again, and then press OK. So I'll press the program button again and say OK, then we wait, and after a few seconds, you can see the programming lights flashing, now it's done, it's successful, and we can unplug it. So now it's ready to go with stock settings. Um, and the idea of what this does is that you, you have this, you boot up a Mac, holding the option key down, and then you plug this in, and it does all the keystrokes all the way up to a logic terminal, and uh, starting the install process um, using the resources that are created with Magdeploy Stick. So um, the normal, in order to run the command, you have to have the specific command that has the hard drive, the uh, external drive named a specific way. So let's say what you want to change that. So we want to configure it. So we click on configure Arduino Automaton. And the first thing it says is plug in an Arduino Automaton now. And if it's already plugged in to unplug it, so I'll now plug it in. It reads the data off of it, and there it goes. It shows it, tells me what version it is, um, which you can't change because that's hard coded into it. Here's the command that runs in the recovery partition. So again, let me repeat what uh, Arduino Automaton does. It uh, will do the uh, keystroke to do recovery partition, wait for, and this uh, by default 120 seconds. I change it to 130 during testing. It waits 130 seconds and then uh, does the keystrokes to launch terminal and then runs this command. And if you have uh, the resources here uh, are created with Mac Deploy Stick, this is the command that'll, that you'll need to run um, if, it, if your hard drive was named Mac Deploy Stick. Let's say you needed something else like external. So let me put um, external drive. And so you want it to run the run command, but it's stored on the external drive. So I click on update. And now the Arduino has been updated. If I go back into configure Arduino Automaton, it'll read the settings back, and now you can see that it was actually changed. All right, so that's the video. Um, I'm going to be doing a build and pushing it up. The UI is not final. I have to do a lot of polishing, some more error checking. Um, but please subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and um, um, if you like this project, you want to follow on the updates. Thanks very much for watching.